Hi guys, welcome to Code Artisan Lab. So this is our 17th video for Django tutorial series. And in this series, we are creating a question answer website. So in this video, we will create a tags page. So here is the screenshot that what we are creating for. So in this screen, you can see we are uh, showing the tags with counting. So this is question counting that that uh, particular tag has how many question like Python has uh, like 10 question or 15 question. So we are going to create this page. So let's do this. So first we will follow these steps. We will uh, we will firstly we will create the first we will create the page. We will create the tags page and then show the data in the tags page. Show the tags in the tags page. For fetching tags page we will implement these uh, steps we will fetch all questions and we will do this in our views file we will fetch all questions and then from that questions we will fetch tags and uh, split them with the comma and then we will add those tags in a list and after that we will get the unique tags from the we will get the common tags from the list and then we will fetch the counting of that particular tag from the question so this is the basic overview that what we are going to do and uh, so we will sh uh, this uh, with the help of these steps we will complete our tag tags page so let's do this so the first thing we will create a page we will create a function definition tags page definition tags and here we will create the request and I will create a template here I will create the template and this template will be tags.html ok so let's create this I will copy the tag template and paste the so I will create this tags.html and here I will delete the all things in the container and in this container I will show the tags so I don't need the humanized loader humanized template tag and in the title I will show all tags and we need the URL so what we will do here we will tags page so tags and this will be tags and tags okay and uh, now what we will do we will modify our home and base template so here in the here we will add tags and similarly in the home page we will also add tags here we will add tags now let's see the page so when click on these tags so we have a we have created the templates for showing the tags now we will implement the functionality so the first thing we need the we need all questions so we will fetch the questions dot all okay and now we will look through this question for quest in quest and now we need the I will create here tags as a list empty list and here I will create the tags and uh, here I will create the question tags equal to quest dot tags dot split with comma now the user can uh, add the tag with the with with comma and with with the help of space and comma also so let's say we have our tags let's say user can add python django flask with the space and a user can also add without space so what we will do here we will use the comprehension tag uh, list comprehension tag so here what i will do i will do for i will here tag dot 
script and here i will use for tag in so this split function will create the list and from this uh, comprehension tag i'm i'm getting the tag and stripping uh, trimming the white space so that user if user uh, add the white space then we can trim that we can strip the white space and here now we will do so here what we will do if so we will run one more loop because this is a list so we will run one more loop tag in q tags and here we will check ki if tag not in not in our tags then we will append that so that unique functionality so that we can get the unique tags so here i will append the tags dot append tag now we have a unique tag so let's see this i will do let's check this i will i will check with the http response so let's check this so i am going to tags in quests is not defined because our variable name should be quests and here we have a q tags is not defined q tags okay let's check this again so here you can see we have a python django and flask uh, and you uh, if i go to the admin and see the question we have a two questions uh, here and in the first question i have a python django flask tag and in the second question python and django so we are getting only the three tags so we are getting only three unique tags now what we will do we will fetch the data according to this uh, fetch the question count according to this tag and uh, uh, pass in the template so here i will comment fetch questions and here i will create a tag with count empty list and in this i will call this tag as not as tag in tags and in this i will get the tag data equal to create a dictionary and in this dictionary i will add name tag and count equal to sorry colon and here i will fetch the dot fetch the count with filter here with filter filter method tags i contains equal to tag okay so this will fetch the count of this tag so now what we will do we will append this dictionary append this dictionary this tag data dictionary in the list and here we will pass this list so we will pass tags and here we will pass tag with count we can uh, 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 before passing we can check this also so return http response because this is dictionary so i will use json response and here i will use tag with count so let's check this so what will return it refresh so it is saying that we have a 151 count so we have a error here comma error now we can check this so it is saying that in order to allow non universalize the safe parameter so what we will do here we will be actually we need to use the http response because this is list so here you can see we have a name python and count to name django and count to so these are tags and now with the count so what we will do here 
now we are able to show the tags in this template so here i will create the row and in the row i will create the column column 2 and in the column before the column actually we will for tag in tags and i will close and for and here i will get this class card and in the card i will show the div class card body and in the card body i will show this as an anchor i will show the tag as an anchor and here i will show the tag dot name and i will show the tag dot tag dot count so let's see this and i will also add the class card text card text and here i will add the final link for our tag so that when we click on this link it will go to the specific tag and fetch the question according to these tags so tag dot name and in this we will slugify this okay so let's check this refresh so we have a tag and we have a counting so i will define one more class one more bootstrap class class not here i will define the class in the span uh, in the count wrap the count in the span tag and here i will wrap the count class and here i will define the badge so sorry for the spelling badge info let's see this yeah so this is looking this is looking nice now when we click on this tag it will show the question according to the tags so we have completed our tags page and i hope you you enjoyed this video and you enjoyed this series and i think this is our last page because all of the pages we have created and one thing more we need to remove this questions uh, link because we don't need the questions link because when we click user click on the home it will show the all questions so we don't need the questions link so i will open the uh, not detail page we will not open the detail page we need to open the base template actually so in the base template i will remove the questions tag and i have uploaded all this code on the github so you can you can clone the repository and uh, i have uploaded all the things so now our search is working we are going to home page our answer comments all things are working and we have created our profile page we have created our login logout functionality we have created our ask question page and i have given you a task that uh, you uh, that find the questions of find the question of uh, the current users the user has been submitted to find get the answers get the command supports and downloads so i hope you are doing that and uh, i will uh, update this uh, code on the github and i have already updated that also and uh, thank you thank you very much for watching this video uh, please don't forget to subscribe this channel and uh, like this video share this video as much as can possible and uh, thank you thank you so much